Good afternoon. Uh, this is Andy Schweitzer, and looking for a general um, view of what happens when I mix an acid and a base. Obviously, uh, students might understand um, the fact that grab a marker here um, that this is going to result in what's called neutralization. Okay, and potentially now there's a little more to it than just say on. Oh, they neutralize each other. Okay, so the first one I'm going to highlight here is a strong acid plus a strong base. For general and for well, for general chemistry, this is be just the, all we would ever do. Okay. Um, we have a strong acid, let's say HCl, and a strong base, let's say NaOH. They simply react. Um, the HCl goes 100% to products. The NaOH goes 100% to products. So we get, um, in this case, uh, H2O and NaCl. All right. Um, so the general idea is a strong acid plus a strong base will yield water and a salt. Now, in this case, I have this salt here, which is called table salt. But in this case, it could be any um, ionic compound which is considered a salt. So I could do, let's say, HBr, strong acid, plus K. OH, my strong base, yields H2O plus um, KBr. Right? Again, acid plus a base yields a salt and water. Um, pretty standard neutralization reaction. All right, um, what happens if I were to add a strong with a weak? So I have a strong acid. All right, mixed into, let's say, a weak base or a strong base mixed into a weak acid. Okay. So <clears throat> we do know that a strong acid and a weak base is just going to be the transfer of an H plus ion. Okay, um, an H plus ion giving is uh, donating is your acid. And your accepting, okay, is the base. So to donate plus is uh, acid to accept, okay, this is going to be your base. Now, um, example would be strong acid, HCl, plus let's say um, a weak base. Now, a weak base is anything that can accept a proton, really. So let's go with any anion. You so you have a cation. Um, is missing, so all I need is an anion or something that can accept a base. Let's go F negative. Okay, so this guy is going to react, and it could be uh, in this case the way it might show it is sodium fluoride NaF. Okay, but really all I need is an anion that can take the H. When this thing dissolves, the Na plus ion will float on its own. The F negative will float on its own. We'll have a beaker here where we drop in, and these F negatives are simply floating around by themselves. Drop in the HCl, and I'm going to get, and I'm going to cross out this as a spectator, and I'm going to get, uh, I could actually keep it in there as well, but the strong will protonate the weak. Okay, so we'll get HF plus NaCl. Okay. So in this case, it's a little bit different. Okay. These guys are still floating around. Uh, but we just have our strong, okay, we'll protonate the weak. Um, if we were to have a weak versus a weak, okay, let's take a look at that.
So weak acid mixed in with a weak base. In this case, uh, let's say for example, and I like to use what's called conjugates. Okay, so let's say for example we have HF, which is an acid. Its conjugate is F negative. So, and again, it would come as a form of NaF, but it would just simply be F negative once it dissolves in water. It would break apart right here. So I would have a beaker, okay, where I have some um, concentration of Na plus ions and F negative ions. And I'm going to dump in some HF. Now, to keep this simple, okay, I'm going to say that essentially a week versus a week weak added to a weak will be essentially no change. All we're going to do is they'll start building up. There'll be some slight changes but for the most part they just simply sit. Okay, So weak and weak they don't do a whole lot. Um, strong and weak, strong will protonate the weak. Back out there. Strong will protonate the weak. That is right here. And a strong and strong, right here. That's your classic neutralization reaction. All right. Thank you very much.